you a woman searching for purpose and success? A housewife? Maybe a single mother? You're in the right place. Welcome to Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Activate. Motivate. Inspire. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. I am Miss Lisa Nobles, your hostess, and I am so excited and elated to be here with you today. Speaking of today, our subject consists of trauma facing forgiveness, just simply trauma facing forgiveness. And I did do a Facebook Live on this and um, was requested to do the, uh, to record it on the podcast, which is great, so you guys can listen on the go. But, uh, of course, our, our trauma, just in all seriousness, trauma facing forgiveness, okay? That's what we're going to discuss at this on this particular episode. And what key number one is simply ourselves. We go through life in many instances are striving to prove to ourselves and to others that we are upright people and we have to forgive the person or people in which caused us pain, right? For some, we spend a lot of time, energy, and effort striving to convince ourselves that we must forgive. God loves a person who forgives and it becomes our mission to forgive, forgive, forgive. And yet we are often left empty after all of that. Key number two is simply losing. When you have an unforgiving heart, or you are consciously or unconsciously living your life or through your traumatic experiences, resentment is slowly seeping into your heart. And everything in which you are throwing at the other person to feel better, you too are losing who you are at the same time. And if you are anything like me, your self-respect is slowly dwindling because we must make the other person pay for hurting us, right? Right. No. Key number three, your last key for today is forgiveness. Forgiveness is not for the faint at heart. The beginning stages of forgiveness take patience and time. It takes courage and understanding, and for many, it will take wisdom so uh, that you can see yourself through. When you have a non-forgiving heart, you are frequent, frequently on the defense, even when your role is to be the offensive player, right? You have to knock that resentment wall down of hostility and hatred down because life still continues. One of the first steps for overcoming trauma and inviting healing is admitting that you are a have been hurt. Here is your empowerment quote for today by myself, Miss Lisa Nobles. I believe we have to deal with our pain by accepting our role within a situation which will bring emotional transformation cultivated by peace. Guess what, family? I am elated to have participated in this show today. I know that someone somewhere was touched by this wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much for listening to the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. And as a bonus, please visit, you know me, please visit www.iamlisanobles.com slash podcast where you can receive a free gift just for being a part of the Savvy Speaks Podcast family. You know me. I love you. I truly do. And thank you for being a part of the show. And remember, remember family, my mantra. And as I always say, you are, you are a unique combination of experiences. Clothed in purpose, strength, and destiny. Have a great week and I'll see you right here next time on the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with me, Miss Lisa Nobles. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Online at imlisanobles.com and on Facebook and Instagram at EWOFP. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review. And we'll catch you next time on Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. Activate, motivate, inspire.